So water systems for your Camino. Yes, there are different ways of carrying and accessing your water. And that's what we're going to be talking about this week. I'm going to show you three systems that I've tried and the one that I reckon, for me at least, works out best. Coming right up. So water, while you're walking your Camino, is a vital component. Um, I'll talk a little bit about dehydration at the end of this video, but what I want to show you is the three main types of water systems uh, that I've tried. If you can think of others, please do comment down below. But I'll, I'll show you three from really simple to a little bit more complicated, the pros and cons, and maybe it'll help you decide how you're going to be carrying your water on the Camino. Just a word of caution, uh, and again, I'll talk about this at the end, um, but don't underestimate the need to carry water. Um, dehydration can be very serious. It can lead to um, smaller problems like blisters and heat stroke and things like that. But on the more remote Caminos, people have died through lack of water. So I'm talking Via de la Plata and, and some of those ones. If you're going to do the uh, Camino Portuguese or Camino Francis, there's pretty much water all over the place but you're going to have to carry it. So what are the ways to carry it? Let's start with the simplest way. You can stick a bottle of water in the side of your pack. Why not? I'm sure that's what most people do. What's the disadvantage of that though? Let me just throw on my pack. And if you're wondering what's in the pack, we did a video last week on that. Um, so I've got my water here. How do I access that while I'm walking? Um, the side pockets on this particular pack, I can't actually reach it. Um, so when I'm walking with my wife Pat, we might have you know additional water bottles here and, and we can kind of pick each other's water bottle, that kind of stuff. Uh, but if I'm walking on my own I've, and I'm going to carry them here, I've got to take my pack off to get to them. Um, or I've got to rig up some sort of system on the front. Um, that would make a lot more sense. So let me show you um, what we could do on the front. So I use these amazing little clips called hipster clips, and I'll put a link down below to show you where you get them. Uh, this is one way of very easily just attaching a water bottle to the front straps of your pack. Um, I'm using one use water bottles. Don't damn me just yet. I'll talk about those a little bit more. Of course, you could be using, you know, hiking bottles of different kinds. This is one from Kathmandu. Um, there are also other types of hiking bottles with little drinking tubes and holders. You can put those on your straps. So there's any number of gadgets that you'll find online, particularly Amazon, uh, where you can attach water bottles to your pack straps. But if I just want to carry plain old water bottles like that, the way I would carry them is using these little hipster clips. Put that back on. Um, so I've got easy access. I can just undo it, have a drink, put the clip back on. I tend to use a little elastic band there just to hold it in place and I've got easy access to my water. So that's the simplest way. Just use water bottles that you would buy in any store and carry those. Of course you could have various sizes. Um, this is about a 600ml bottle which is I find a good one to carry on the front strap. I could probably put one litre bottles in these, I haven't tried. Um, depending on how much you're going to carry, and we'll talk about that in a moment. I'm sure I can put one litre bottles in here. Yeah, apologies if this is scratching the mic. So one on each side, I can very easily carry two litres of water there. So that's carrying water in its very basic form, in the side of your pack, inside your pack, hanging on the front straps of your pack. Now another method, of course, that is very popular is a water bladder and I just happen to have one inside my pack. So a water bladder basically fits inside your pack here. Let me take out a couple of items. I'll just chuck these out on the floor and hopefully you can see that there's a little pocket into which the water bladder goes. And in this case I've got a little clip holding it in place. This is a two litre water bladder. You can, I think, get three litres or even more. Most packs have these little sleeves inside where you can put the water bladder. Let me just put that back in. And I'll put that, just set that up. And then the drinking tube 
comes out. This one's got a little hole on each side. Most packs again will have a little hole and you can put the drinking tube in there. And again, we've got really easy access to the water. And the great thing with having water like this with a drinking tube is that you can be sipping as you're walking along. You don't have to consciously grab a bottle. I, I love having a drinking tube where I can just sip and sip and sip and I'm keep, keeping up with my water intake. Sorry, I'm just watching this mic because it tends to scratch on the shirt. So water bladders are great and I have used those. There's some pluses and minuses. Um, I can carry a decent amount of water. Uh, it's in my pack. It's okay. It's um, not going to freeze in really cold weather. Uh, I suppose to a degree it would keep it a little bit cooler in very hot weather. We're quite hot out here today. Um, but that's about it. The disadvantages in my mind, and if you have different views, please do comment down below. Um, the absolute number one disadvantage, I cannot see how much water I've got left. And a couple of times walking the Camino Francis, I have actually been sucking on this and suck air. And I was like seven or eight k's from the next water source in really hot weather. And I started to worry a bit because I was dehydrating. Um, thankfully, I came across one of those amazing little oases with a caravan selling drinks. But running out of water is no joke. It happened to me a couple of times using water bladders. So number one disadvantage to me is I have to actually open this and look inside to see how much I've got left. The other disadvantage to my mind is um, how do I fill it up? I actually have to take the pack off when I get to fountains or anything like that. I've actually got to undo the pack. I've got to, I don't have to take the whole thing apart. I can fill it while it's still in the pack. I've just got to open this up and fill it up. Um, but to me, you know, on the third disadvantage, of course, is the bladder itself has some weight. <coughs> um, and so that's extra weight I've got to carry. But the big disadvantage to me is that I cannot see how much water I've got left. And I want to very closely monitor my water consumption and intake. I want to know how much I'm drinking. I want to know how much is left because, you know, I'll be, I'll be looking at my map, working out where's the next water source. There's a village coming up or there's a, a water fountain coming up. It's 10 k's. Uh, I want to make sure that I've got enough water to get there. Uh, and just as a very rough guide, this is going to be different for every individual, depending on the weather. Uh, but for me, as a very rough guide, I drink a litre for every 10 kilometres. Um, so that's the kind of number I've got in my head. I've got 10 k's to go. I want to make sure I've got at least a litre of water. So water bladders are great. Um, they're not quite for me though. So let's just speed up the video while I take this off. I'm going to show you. Oh boy. Okay, so my preferred way now of carrying water is this. It's kind of in between carrying a bottle of water and having a water bladder. And basically all you have to buy is this drinking tube and it fits any bottle that you're going to buy in a store. So think of the advantages of this. Um, I can see how much water I've got. It's sitting on the front of my pack. I've got the tube. I can be sipping water constantly. The big benefit is I can see how this water level is dropping. And I wear a couple of these and I'll show you how it works in a second. Um, for me, this has just worked out to be ideal. It's not the greatest look in the world. I'll show you how it looks in a second. Um, just a thing to note, when you buy these, they come with uh, different sized attachments. So I think this is a Blue Desert one. Um, so for different sized bottles. Uh, this one I found uh, actually matches any sort of bottles of water that you buy along the way. Now, for those of you who are looking at me thinking, ah, you know, you terrorist, you're using plastic bottles. I keep reusing them. So I get these really lightweight ones. And as I finish the water, I'm topping up from fountains, I'm topping up from taps, um, and I'm reusing the bottles. I'm not buying bottled water along the way. Uh, these are going to last me at least two weeks. Uh, the only thing I do is I make sure I rinse them out. I rinse the tube out um, just to make sure you don't get bacteria in it. Um, and they're great. So let me put this onto the pack and we'll see how that works. Okay. 
Okay, so there's the, the bottles on. You'll notice I carry two. These are 600 mils. I might carry 750. So I've got 1.2 to 1.5 litres of water. Uh, if I need more, I'll, I'll put extras in the, in the side pouches. Okay, so this is the system. Uh, the hose, the bottles stay on there. So I don't think it's sort of too fiddly. Um, I've got my drinking tube here, so I can sip as I'm going along. This is the one that I'm drinking from. This is my spare one. I can swap these over without even stopping. So if I want to fill them up um, at a fountain or anything like that, very easy to just fill up, swap them over, do whatever I want to do. And of course, the big disadvantage for me is I can see exactly how much I've got left. So I'm monitoring this one. So what did I say? A litre for every 10 k's is my average. That's going to do me about 5 k's. Then I'll swap that to there, back to there. I've got another 5 k's. Just swap them over. Very, very easy. Uh, now, one of the things you might be thinking about, and we're out here on a hot day. Sorry if I'm sweating. Um, your water's going to get hot. Uh, that's the benefit of having a bladder in your pack. You know, I was thinking about this. I've never been conscious of the fact that my water was hot. Um, I think when you're thirsty, you don't really mind. Uh, but I can't honestly remember in three Caminos and 2,000 kilometers of walking in hot weather ever thinking, yeah, my water was hot. It doesn't kind of get hot. Um, maybe partly because I generally in hot weather, I'm walking with an umbrella, or I, I don't know. But uh, this system, I reckon, is one of the best. Um, you might want to try it out. So just to recap, we've got carry a bottle of water or, you know, whatever sort of hiking bottles that you want. Uh, there's all sorts of different ones. You want the water to be easily accessible. That's the key thing. You can have a water bladder. Big disadvantage for me, I can't see how much you got left. And that is a significant disadvantage <laughs> to me. That's um, I was going to say dangerous, but it's, um, yeah, what word would I use? Um, it makes me anxious, if not knowing how much water I've got left. Um, and then finally, you know, just put the bottles on the front. Not the coolest look in the world, I know, but very, very practical. These literally just stay on here all the time. I might take them off um, occasionally to rinse them out. I might rinse out the tube. The way that I clean the tube is that um, I take denture cleaning tablets and I use about half a tablet uh, in a sink of water. I'll put the tube in there, let it soak a bit and hang it out. I might rinse the bottles out every couple of weeks using the, the same sort of technique. Um, but, you know, look after the tubes and things like that to make sure you don't get bacteria in them. Um, that's pretty much it. That's, you know, the different options you've got with carrying water. Um, so when you're walking, particularly for the first time, I mean, the old hands will know all of this and I, and I hope the old hands watching uh, will comment on this system and, you know, critique it. And perhaps you've got other systems. I'd love to hear about those below. Uh, but for those walking their very first Camino and particularly in warmer weather, please take care uh, about hydration. It's really important. Um, dehydration can bring on blisters. It's, um, you know, it's one of the, the factors. Um, women, I notice, are very reluctant to drink a lot of water when they're walking because they don't want to go and pee in the woods. Get over it. You're not doing your health any good. Um, and, you know, it's uh, one of the ways to monitor whether you're getting dehydrated or not. I'm sorry for being a bit indelicate, but when you have a pee, look at the colour. And uh, go and Google it. Look at, you know, urine colour charts. The darker you pee, the more hydrated you are. So you're never going to get it sort of totally clear. <laughs> I don't think <laughs> you'd have to be drinking a lot of water while you're doing that. Um, but the darker it gets, you know, that's a little bit of a warning sign that you're starting to, uh, to dehydrate. So remember the water. Um, just as an aside, when people are comparing packing lists and pack weights and things like that, they generally don't include food and water. So um, I'll put a link to uh, my packing list and the packing video that we did last week. I'll put that down below or up here. Um, and I think I mentioned that this pack weighs six and a half kilos. That's not including food or water. I'm hoping to get that down to about six kilos. So there we go. The amazing water system. And I must thank David, David on the, um, 
Camino Forum because it was David who had seen these clips um, and told me about them. I'll put a link to these clips down below. They're great. I mean, what a, what a marvelous way to carry your water. So easy to use. Okay, so happy planning, uh, happy packing, and uh, who knows, hopefully I'll see you out there on the Camino sometime soon. Uh, thanks for watching. So if you're new to the channel, <clears throat> I'll just say do subscribe, do like, do comment, because we watch those, and uh, obviously the videos <coughs> that get more likes, subscribes, and comments, we realize that topic's probably more interest, so it helps guide the topics. But thanks for watching, and see you next week.